गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर स्टडीइंग द बैलेंस ऑफ द लेसन सेक्टर्स ऑफ इंडियन इकोनॉमी सो वी आर स्टडीइंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी वुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज इकोनॉमी एक्चुअली द एक्टिविटीज दैट एंगेज बाय दिस डिफरेंट सेक्शंस ऑफ द इकोनॉमी लाइक प्राइमरी सेक्टर सेकेंडरी सेक्टर एंड टर्शियरी सेक्टर दिस थ्री एक्टिविटीज दैट वी कलेक्टिवली प्रोड्यूस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज यू नो दैट प्राइमरी सेक्टर फर्स्ट सेक्टर वी कैन कॉल इट एज प्राइमरी सेक्टर प्राइमरी सेक्टर इज सर्विस फॉर द एग्रीकल्चर एंड द रेड ऑक्यूपेशन दैट इज प्राइमरी सेक्टर What is primary sector? Primary, primary sector includes agriculture and other occupations. That is primary sector. You know that more more than seventy percent of the people they engage in agriculture. So we call Indian economy as agrarian economy because most of the people they are mainly depending on agriculture. That sector we call as primary sector. Second sector that is secondary sector. Second sector that is called secondary sector. Secondary sector you know very well that this is primary sector that produces natural. Natural things that are produced in the primary sector. So these agriculture and other occupations that we can call as primary sector. This is to be transformed in the factories for the industries. The industries and they change into finished products that we that we can call as secondary sector. Secondary sector only transform the primary sector into secondary. For example, the agriculture products that can be transformed into. Uh, transformed in the factories and make it as finished products. You know that uh, earth, earth uh, or soil that will be transformed into bricks. Bricks that will be used for the construction. So there will be a transformation that happens in the factories that we can call the secondary sector. Secondary sector is always called uh, industrial sector. Primary sector is agriculture sector. Secondary sector is uh, we can call it as industrial sector and later on is tertiary sector. Third sector that is called the tertiary sector. Service sector. Once again, I mean, uh, guys, the, the people in more than 130 crores of people they are living in India. They engage in various kinds of activities. Uh, they produce. They may be engage in primary sector. They may be engage in secondary sector, and they may be engage in tertiary sector. And they from uh, from this primary sector to secondary sector to tertiary sector, they produce goods and services. These goods and produce these goods and services together sum total of these goods and services from primary sector, secondary sector. That is GDP or gross domestic product. That increases the national income of the country. That increases the national income of the country. That is what we can call it as GDP. What is GDP? Primary sector, secondary sector, and tertiary sector. That all these combine together that produce goods and services. These goods and services together together that create national income. That national income together we can call it as GDP or gross domestic product. What is GDP? Primary sector, secondary sector. That tension, all uh, you think, all this 
peoples are essential for uh, these primary sector belong. If suppose because in the family, in the family, almost all members of the family, they may be in the primary sector, they may be depending on uh, primary sector. That is no need of that much of members. That is in India, we will calculate that uh, more than 60 percent, more than 70 percent of the people they are getting in agriculture. But uh, uh, this sector, no need of this much of members. If they are not doing this uh, agriculture, if this sector is also, so they are in the secondary and tertiary sector. But they are not in the primary sector, when they depend on this primary sector, that may be actually these uh, for the production of these things, uh, this much of people are not necessary. If they are not doing also, some people if they are not doing such a work also, uh, the production will be the same. Understand? The production will be the same. Production of that goods will be the same. If, they, if uh, some people they may withdraw from that primary sector also, the production will be the same. So such is, if uh, they withdraw from that job or if they also, they need to do that work also, no need, no, no need to worry because the production will be the same, production will be the same. So that it is such a unemployment being called as disguised unemployment, that is disguised unemployment because these, for example, one example I will that if I call five members um, for, uh, for my um, area's work or uh, doing some agriculture work, say if I call five members, five percent uh, for, uh, for my land agriculture work, sir, if they come and they will do in that work, three members they are working very hard, four two members they are working very hard, they are doing that work. Sir. Other members, they, if they are not doing that work, also the uh, production will be the same. Also the work will be the same. The next day, if I upload the two members, three members they are working very hard, and two members they are simply engaging in that. No need, no need to worry about these two members because next day if I upload these two members also, no need to worry because the, the same the part, whatever the works are done earlier, the same work will be done in the next day also to understand but that is going to be displaced unemployment. That is displaced unemployment because if in this in this sector, primary sector, no need of such that much of the markets, that much of the market, large number of markets are no needed in this primary sector. But people they get it, um, this primary sector because of the lack of employment, uh, sometimes uh, they may they may they may not, uh, they never get a job that and they, they think that it is better to engage in primary activities. Whatever may be, primary activities, uh, no need of this, this much of members, if they engage in such a group or such a worker, and the production will be the same. Uh, some members, if they withdraw from that job or if they will be removed from that job, also the production will be the same. I hope that what is displaced number one, that is called displaced number What is What is displaced number one? It means that people, if five members are there, if five members are there, in these five members, three members they are working on, and two members they engage in that work, but the production will be the same. Next day, these two members will not come or will uh, ask you to uh, ask them that you need to come, the three members they are engaged also. The production will be the same, the sum will be the same. If you look at the sum, same. This sum will be the same. Next day, also the same. The sum will be the same. What the production, what can we do, sir? This will be the same. So if the first day five is there, next day three is there, the production will be the same. Some will be the same. So these two members, that two members will be part of this case, the discussed unemployment or discussed members. That is members will be part of this case, the members. That will be part of this case members. That is very important. Next, next thing I want to explain that is these sectors which are related to the organized and unorganized sector. Organized sector and unorganized sector. What is organized sector? What is unorganized sector? Organized and unorganized sector. Unorganized sector. Organized sector. Organized sector. Organized sector that we can call it as government jobs. That is the organized sector. Because these in this sector the people engage in various works like the industry sector or secondary sector, if they engage in that activities run by the government, definitely no, they don't need to worry about certain things. That, that sector is organized sector. Why? Because they have certain kinds of uh, benefits. For example, uh, they may get a fee of, they may get a pension, then job guarantee, Job 
geldi, yol geldi işte. Yol, yol geldi. Then o arada ne istiyorlar? Yol security. It's better to write the yol security. Yol security. Then insurance. Insurance. Then our infrastructure is infrastructure is travel allowance EA. So these all these things are they have they have job security. First of all, the thing is that job security. They have job security. So first thing is job security. They know they know they are not need to worry about it. Worry about their job. No tension. Stress free. So they can. do their work sincerely and dedicatedly without any kind of uh, problems because they have no uh, security and after their work also they get a pension they have provident fund then their job is insured that insurance is there then their infrastructure is there travel allowance is there then then they have their own associations uh, they have associations if they feel any kinds of problems uh, these associations will help them so they have proper associations uh, then they have travel allowance is there they have proper infrastructure in for them that their parking condition is good government has given all kinds of facilities infrastructure for them and moreover their job is secure job security is there job security then insurance they have insurance then they have pension after their work their work will be valued their work will be valued after that they will get their pension then provident fund is there so these sector will be called as one is the sector this is the They don't need to worry about anything at all because they have all kinds of benefits and all kinds of in all kinds of facilities and they have provided for pension, job security, insurance, infrastructure, travel allowance, association, etc. So they are secure. They are secure in their job. They don't need to worry about the tension about their work because that sector is organized sector. This organized sector. If once they enter this organized sector, their job will be secure. They have security is there. Their family will be secure. They will not need to worry about anything at all. Stress free work. They can do the stress free work. That is organized sector. sector. But then, uh, then fact, there are if they are working in the factories, then there will be factory IT there. So organized sector factory IT will help them. And factory IT is there. As far as the factory IT, they can work. They have all kinds of for security measures. So they can wear safety belt, then safety belt. All these things they have. They have the they then insurance is there. Everything is the factory also factory will protect this organized sector. If they are working in this organized sector, then minimum wages act is there. Then there is minimum wages act. Minimum wages they have get a minimum wages act. As for the minimum wages act, they will get a. Wages. Then we need to worry about the wages. Then gratuity. Then gratuity. They will get a proper gratuity. Gratuity act also go forward. So gratuity they will get. Then they will get a fixed working hours. That is important. If they are working in the uh, factories, they have fixed working hours. Fixed working hours. They have fixed working hours. They have fixed working hours. Then you know that in earlier days the uh, factories they they didn't work but they have to work long working hours. Now they no need to worry about long working hours uh, because they are uh, fixed working hours. Uh, they they have fixed working hours. No need to worry about that. Within that stipulated time they can work. Within that fixed time they can work. They no need to worry about the uh, long hours of work. If suppose after their work, if suppose if they work uh, in fixed working hours, if they uh, work extra, then that extra bit. Extra, extra duties work they will get. So that they don't need to worry about that. Those who are working in this company, in this sector, they are secure. Their job is secure. Or the job security is there. So that you understand about that they have provident fund, the factory act, then that will protect them. Then fixed working hours, so they will know it very well. Then they have paid leave. They have paid leave. Paid leave, casual leave, paid leave. What all these things? They have, they have, they have, they paid the leave. They have, they have, they paid the leave. Medical benefits, all kinds of medical benefits. There will be a medical, medical insurance will be provided to provide them. Medical 
benefit is there, medical insurance is there, so they don't need to worry about these uh, things. Uh, so they have medical benefits. They have medical benefits. They have medical benefits. Then it's work numbers. They have paid leave. Which sector? Organized sector. I am discussing about organized sector. Thank you. 
happy they want to live uh, they want to lead a, uh, lead their life they want to, uh, they want to survive in the society so that time what they will do they will depend on and no finance this they will depend on and now before that they will uh, they will depend on and no finance that is why uh, we, we say that uh, most of the people so they need to live in the works so they need
35 lakhs of people is generated job in the tourism industry. This is an industry. Tourism industry, 35 lakhs of people will get a proper job. This will be helpful for these people to find a job. So, 20 lakh people will get education. 20 lakh people will get employment. Why do you think they are getting job in education sector? Second, tourism. Tourism sector. Tourism is an industry. Their life will be secured. Their life will be secured. 
in other words, what will happen is they will collect a huge amount of money from money lenders. Money lenders will collect a huge amount of interest and they cannot, they cannot repay it in time. So that, that is why we say that the farmers are born in debt, live in debt and die in debt. They cannot give the money. They can't give money on the way. So they, if they die also, they are So that, that situation will be about the commuters. The more employment opportunities can be given by the government there so that the people, the people their life becomes secure. So first of all, we will discuss about the educational sector. 20 lakh jobs can be provided, employment can be provided in this educational sector. Second, the tourism sector, 35 lakhs can be lakhs of jobs can be provided in the tourism sector. So the people will be tend to towards tourism, people will be tend to with more education. For skilled occupations, definitely they will get 20 plus 35 lakhs of jobs and jobs and jobs. Next, agriculture government. If government is providing agriculture loan, definitely that will help the farmers. Next is NREGA. You have heard about NREGA or NREGA. What is NREGA? NREGA. National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. That is National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. That is provided by our government. In order to protect, uh, protect the people, in order to give job to the people, government is ready to give a job. That 100 days of work, after days of work, 100 days of work will be guaranteed. 100 days of work will be guaranteed to the people. That is National Rural Employment Guarantee Act or Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. It provides 100 days of work in a year. In a year, 100 days of work will be provided to Suppose if government is not providing 100 days of work to these people, definitely government will give you compensation. Compensation to these 100 days of work. Government is ready to give compensation to these 100 days of work. Through that, through that, at least they will be at least the member will get 100 days of work. In rural areas, government is ready to give this national rural employment guarantee to guarantee 100 days of work. Whether the government fails to give 100 days of work, compensation will be provided to these 100 days of work. I hope that you understood about the national rural employment guarantee act. That also provided by our government. Through this act, the government is giving more employment opportunities to this, giving more employment to the people. Then now you understand about the NREGA, National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. 100 days of work will be provided in a year. Suppose if government will to give 100 days of work, 100 days of work compensation will be provided to them through bank account, through bank account. So that you understand about the, the, what is National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. Next is right to work. All these people sections of the societies, they have the right to work. That will be the right to uh, work that the act was passed by our government so that uh, they can work freely uh, without any kind of fear at all. So that that also helps them. Then, uh, so these, uh, all these activities, why government is doing these kinds of activities in order to provide uh, employment uh, opportunity to, the, to uh, our peoples so that uh, the country can be developed. You know that which is the most important uh, Then next we will discuss about the secondary sector. Second 
that will that will be increase only in the country will develop. Otherwise, we can say that there are three to three types of countries are there. We don't know which one. Which of the types of countries? That is developed country, underdeveloped country, and developing country. Our country is going on this developed or underdeveloped or developing. Our country is developing country. So that the GDP as per the GDP level only we can calculate. We can calculate that uh, whether the country is in this uh, developed state or developing state or underdeveloped state. The GDP that the rate is going down rapidly. The country's government there is still need more more development. So that you understood that what is GDP. The government take most most of these steps to improve the conditions of the members. Next, uh, then the government can provide fair price. Government can provide fair price. What is fair price? Uh, fair price here means that uh, you know that uh, public distribution, PDS, what is PDS? PDS is public distribution service, public distribution system. Otherwise, called public distribution through ration shops. Through ration shops, uh, government can provide food, food to the poor peoples. You know that the uh, ration cards you make it. But, uh, there are different colors of ration cards. As per the criteria, only the colors of the ration card will be provided. As per that, the government can provide either free food for the people, or they can, you know, they can through these ration shops, they can provide all these kinds of uh, things. Then, then the government can also stock this, uh, stock uh, the remaining food items if any kind of calamities, natural calamities like flood and droughts. Definitely buffer stock is there. What is buffer stock? That is, that will be the piece of kinds of food items that will be preserved in this board house. That is called buffer stock. That buffer stock in that can can be distributed. So the, all these systems that we that will be under PDS or public distribution system. I hope that the PDS you know it very well. Uh, the next the fair, how the fair price will be done? The again the farmers they will get a, get, get a, um, according to their communities price they will get. A, then government will fix their price. That fixed price will be called as fair price. So suppose if we if we want to buy anything from the shop, from the fair price only, from the fair price we can buy that things. That will be reasonable. That will be reasonable. So that that is fair price. Next the government is thinking about also health. Health that is very important. Even though all these things is there, without health nobody can work. So that will be more important to health. That is why WHO says that health is wealth. So health is for the improvement of health. The government has implemented many plans and projects. You know that many dispensaries, government dispensaries, government hospitals, then all these types of primary health centers, PHC, primary health centers. In the rural areas, primary health centers, many primary health centers that was that was introduced and was established by our government. So the health is given importance to health, the health is wealth. So without health, nobody can acquire money, nobody can live in this situation. Nowadays, you know that pandemic that we are going on, we are um, most important crisis that we are facing that is uh, due to coronavirus or COVID-19. So uh, this health uh, centers are given more importance to, uh, to control to, uh, to control these situations. So uh, health is given more importance now. Using the online platform due to these problem pandemic situations, so online facility will be provided to you uh, because main reason is that due to the health or if uh, these kinds of problems will not happen, people are healthy and they, they, these kinds of pandemic situation will not happen, so we can attend direct, directly. But in this situation, the, we are facing the major problems to help that is pandemic. We will be more care about these things. Uh, about the health. Without health, nobody can survive, uh, then nobody can work very hard. So, moreover, uh, people will be given more importance to more importance to the maintaining of health. How can we maintain health? Health can be maintained through regular exercise. Regular exercise. Nutritious food. Nutritious food products, regular exercise will be provided to them. Regular, if people will do regular exercise, definitely they, they can improve it. Not only this, nutritious food will be uh, given. And the next is the medical insurance, medical insurance, so medical insurance so that people can survive from the diseases. Medical insurance that is brought by our government. So these are all things very important in this manner. I hope that you understood about the and as such, the states of Indian economy, first of all, I hope that you are
Thank you. Thank you very much.